now as subsidized fertilizers continue to be distributed to national cereals and produce board depots across the country farmers have been cautioned against uh, purchasing fake consignments of the agricultural input agriculture experts warn that with the subsidy program counterfeit products will increasingly find their way into the market at the same time the experts have urged farmers to use efficient and balanced fertilizer for favorable crop produce Types of fertilizer, efficient use and quality are among frequently asked questions about the agricultural input with the subsidized fertilizer program introduced by the Ministry of Agriculture. Farmers are in a rush to purchase the product as they prepare to plant during this short rain season. Agriculture experts have however warned farmers to be on the lookout not to fall victim of counterfeit fertilizer. The easiest way to check counterfeit is look is to look try to look for organic no not organic but foreign material. The most commonly used material to to fertilizer has been sand or stones, small stones uh, to, to kind of you know increase the weight uh, and uh, of course, the other, the other key thing that a farmer should uh, take care of is to who, whom you're buying it from. So you should make sure that you buy from a trusted agro dealer. Tim Jackie, an agriculture expert at the Tegemeo Institute of Agricultural Policy and Development, says the subsidy program provides a loophole for cartels to smuggle illicit fertilizer into the country through the borders. When you're giving that huge subsidy, if I'm a transporter and I know Neza Pitya Mali Nyangeze Sand ni 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 I can make money. You're providing incentives for for people to divert fertilizer to the other retail markets. While counterfeit agricultural products pose a serious challenge to farmers as they bear financial losses due to lower crop yields, other factors like the efficient use of fertilizer have played a part. The type of fertilizer that a farmer should use is informed by the crop that he's planting, that should be the first one, and also now the, 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 the soil health for that particular farmer. So each, each of these fertilizers has a different recommendation for in terms of uses. Different types of fertilizers are used in growing different crops and at different times. The ammonium phosphate DAP and triple superphosphate TSP are used as basal fertilizer or during planting of maize, while calcium ammonium nitrate or CAN and urea are used for top dressing. The amount is also key for better produce. An acre of maize requires 100 kg of DAP fertilizer and 100 kg of can during top dressing. The first one, of course, is DAP. DAP is the most commonly used fertilizer, mainly because it can be used across a number of crops, uh, including cereals, pulses, and tubers. Then we also have other fertilizers uh, like NPKs. NPKs, we have different combinations. Uh, the combinations are pegged on the crop in which it's going to be useful. We have uh, trop top dressing fertilizers like uh, CAN, which is calcium ammonium nitrate. We have uh, sulfate of ammonia. We have urea. So these are like some of the most commonly used fertilizer just by the volumes in which we consume them. The prices of the different types of fertilizer vary because of different component composition. The subsidy, which took effect on Monday 19th of this month, means that farmers will access this critical farm input at prices that have been reduced by more than half. A 50 kg bag of DAP and urea will now retail at 3,500, while MOP will go for 1,775, and sulfate of ammonia will sell at 2,220 shillings. The price, according to Tim Jaggi, is not a function of quality. As farmers across the country continue to receive the subsidized fertilizer, farmers in Kisi have urged the government to provide trainings on efficient use of fertilizer. <laughs> The farmers, while appreciating access to cheaper fertilizer, have urged the government to release more top-dressing fertilizer as majority of them have already planted crops.